Okay, so we're going to be doing a brightening treatment on Amy. And I'm going to start out with the Scrub Away the Day. This is some fruit acids and little jojoba beads. We're going to do a nice exfoliating deep cleanse. And so a lot of times when I'm working on clients, I'll notice things that are strange and I will refer them out to a dermatologist. So Amy has had this little spot here and we noticed that it was flaking and not going away. So it took her a few weeks to get an appointment with her derm, but she's gonna see the derm next week and have that looked at closer. Okay, so next I'm just gonna go in and continue the deep cleanse with a little bit of cleanse and bright. When you're doing a brightening facial, you always wanna make sure that you exfoliate well. I would not go too deep though, because a lot of people will have melasma or type of uh, pigmentation that is triggered by hormones. And so therefore it can be triggered by heat and too much irritation. And so when I'm doing brightening treatments, I like to do the very lightest of acid peels or I will do enzymes because they tend to not upset the skin. You need to kind of take it easy on that type of skin, that type of pigmentation. People always think we need to just pummel away at it, but it will rebel and you can get rebound pigmentation. So it's best to start out slow and low. <laughs> always, always start our facials with a double cleanse. And so at night, double cleanses are important. And I know the YouTube community, all the skin influencers, they've talked about this to death, but yeah, it's been known from estheticians. I mean, a professional facial that's since the beginning of time, we always start out with a double cleanse. And so that's gotten out to the consumers in the YouTube industry. And that's good, that's a good thing to have educated consumers. So after our double cleanse um, on Amy, I'm gonna do something gentle, but it's also a multitasker. So my enzyme rescue, this is papaya and pumpkin enzymes. They really eat up dead tissue, but they will not eat up live tissue. They only go after dead tissue. So it's kind of like a little safety net, I guess. So I love using this. And I'm just gonna brush this on like a thick mask. We can either put it on and wait for it to dry down completely. And that's really a great exfoliation and it very calms the skin quite a bit. Or we can just work right over it. It's very safe and gentle. And that's why I love using this mask because it's so multitasking. This mask, if you re-wet it, is even conductive. Make sure you get that neck area, the sides of the neck. We all have sun damage. Especially that driver's side, gonna have plenty of sun damage. Do not forget the chest or decollete area. It really gets all the sun in the car. If you look down, you're driving home. We're always getting sun in the car. It's always just pummeling us. And I do like to rub this in a little bit. I think today, after I rub it in, I'm gonna let it dry down completely and then we'll re-wet it. Maybe use microcurrent for a few minutes. That helps penetrate the exfoliant you know, so it really takes off all the dead cells. Um, I'm also lifting lifting the muscles of the face with microcurrents, so it's kind of fun to multitask like that. I'm gonna let this dry down for a second and we will be right back. Okay, we are back. I'm just gonna add a little water. And like I said, the minerals in this help microcurrent conduct really well and it's kind of a fun multitasking thing to do. So I'm gonna work this in a little deeper. I grab my two Ferreos. Now you only need one for this, but it's just something fun to do. And so, like I said, this is doing two things. It's lifting the tissues as it works that enzyme and so that it takes off all the dead cells. And these moves I'm using are called vectors. And so vectors are basically moves that we do with our devices that cut across areas of common facial sag. So, Here's a vector for the jowls, and I need to avoid her little spot. But here's a vector with the jowls. Here's a vector for the cheeks. Another vector for the cheeks. Vectors are up the sides of the face, really pulling that up, up, up. And this is gonna have a little, this is the micro, micro face lift effect. This is waking up all the muscles and the entire face and helps get everything sort of pulling and working. To think of all the muscles that come in from the side like this. This is a vector. And these are not so much vectors as really good lifting moves for the eyes. 
because you think about what happens when you lift the entire brow, it lifts your eye. It lifts your forehead and it lifts your brow. So that's what I like to do. I can do this too. This move is the bomb for really working out tension in that forehead and then lifting, lifting the brows. When we're doing brightening treatments, we really need to remember that those melanocytes, they get pigmented deep, deeper into the tissue. We really need to exfoliate first, lightly, like I said, and then work those products into the deeper layers of the skin. So it has the best chance of suppressing that melanin formation. Now this is a skin brightener. It doesn't have any acids in it and so it's very gentle to use. I'm going to use some LED on top of all of this and it's very gentle to use underneath that and then really gives a nice brightening effect to the skin. But this has daisy flower extract, Burberry extract, go-to cola, licorice. Um, this is really packed with skin brighteners but in a formula that can sink deeply into the skin. And because it's lighter, I'm going to put it on before my second skin brightener. I'll just do a few pops. It smells nice. Yeah, it sort of has a pepperminty smell. This also has muscle relaxers in it, and so if you put it around the eyes and you make sure you apply it twice a day, it really will start to relax. So now we're going to use my newest product, is the Fruity Peptide Plus, and it's a soothing antioxidant serum. This brand new product, the Fruity Peptide, I love this formula. This is such a beautiful formula. It's like giving the skin your a daily dose of vitamin C. So it's it's a gentle form of vitamin C. Like if you can't handle normal vitamin C that comes, it's just too strong for you, makes you peely or red, you will love this. It's velvety smooth, spreads evenly, and absorbs very quickly, as you can tell. So it's gonna hydrate. You see how it took some of the redness out of her skin? It's going to calm any redness. Really love this. It's called the Fruity Peptide it's Soothing Antioxidant Serum. Love this. I wanted to do LED. So we're gonna put the Omnilux on her for 10 minutes. So you always want to end a brightening facial with sunscreen. I like to do an all-in-one product that is my moisturizer, SPF, and skincare all-in-one to continue the really nourishing brightening facial. And so any of these will really work on Amy's skin. I'm going to show you what the Sun Protection Mild is like. This is for dry, dehydrated skin. I think I'm going to put this on her neck. This is her favorite. I'm going to put this on her chest. And all of these, you'll notice, they just go into the skin without any leaving any cast, which is really nice. Even if she had darker skin, you would see no cast, no white cast with these. These are really high tech and they, they just melt into the skin with no white cast, which is lovely, especially if you're darker skin tone, you don't wanna look like you've got a bunch of stuff on your face. Now, I would say this one, the mild, it looks a little brighter when it comes on, but it does blend into the skin nicely. This is a mineral and physical sunscreen, so you can see those minerals in there, but they do dissolve nicely into the skin tone, even if you have darker skin. So the mild is more for normal to oily skin, and Amy does have normal to oily skin, but like I said, on her neck, I wanted to use something slightly different, a little more nourishing. So you don't have to use three sunscreens, but I'm a little extra, and see how gorgeous her skin looks. All right, so there you have it. That is a brightening facial. We did a double cleanse, we exfoliated, we used a little bit of microcurrent over the exfoliant. We applied the Brighten the Day Fabulous Skin Brightener. We applied in our brand new fruit peptide, we applied that. So she has all the brightening products her skin needs to start to brighten and just her complexion will look nice and even. And that's how you do a brightening facial.